Welcome back to the channel, you big bass lovers. It's Demont. Something came in the mail today from Pure Fishing. Can you guys guess what it is? Quick, put it down below. Tell me what you think it is. I've been trying to get these from other sites, and either they don't, they don't have one color or no colors. It's all back ordered. And it's partially my fault. I should have jumped on the tackle warehouse when they did the pre order, but I kind of gotten away from tackle warehouse. This I ordered directly from Berkeley, and I even got uh, a coupon for it as well. So, hopefully you put your answers down below. I can't wait to get it open, so I'm gonna have to go and open it. Uh, I wish I could be like some of these other YouTubers and say, put it down below and open it on the next video. That's not me. I'm too fucking impatient. All right, I'm gonna put them down here so I can sneak them up to you. Oh shit, I got a bunch of razor stubble. Not looking my best this morning. And I gotta go to my kid's concert in a few minutes. Uh, all right, anybody guess? It's the finishers. Um, I've been waiting for this. I used to go try to find mirror lures. I don't know if you guys know what those are. Um, but they're basically kind of what the premise of this thing was made off of. Uh, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven of them. And I, I just got seven different colors because I wanted to take a look at them and try them out. Um, let's go over what I got here, okay? This says forward-facing sonar optimized, which I think is bullshit. You can use these about anywhere. Um, when I could find the little mirror lures that are about this big, I used to go and just basically burn the bank you fish them almost like a jerk bait, but this is a sinking jerk bait. So it goes down and you gotta work the bait up. You don't jerk to the side, you pop it up. And this thing jumps and darts and goes all over the place. Um, this one here is called Wakasaki. See if you can, damn, that's a glare. That's a pretty color. This one here is called Black Silver, of course. That's got good finish. I don't care what nobody says, man. Berkeley is making some awesome baits lately. They are really staying on top of shit. Uh, this one here is called uh, OG Blue, which just kind of reminds me of one of the Rapala jerk baits I caught one of my biggest bass in a tournament on. This one here is called Prime Time. Some people are scared to throw purple. Um, purple is almost like a natural color because the, the bass have iridescence to them. Well, well, most of their prey fish have iridescence to them, like bluegill and things of that nature. What we perceive when we take them out of the water is like red and orange and blue, but it comes off of purple and different colors under the water. Even shad have. This one here is called Sunset. That's a good looking color there. All right, let's see here we got. And then a lot of these little lakes down here are full of these. So I had to get one. Of course, this is just called perch. And I got the fives. They make a five, seven, and nine. But I was more interested in the fives for right now. I might get some sevens. The nines aren't really, maybe nines might be what I want to do because nines are about the size of a 110. Um, and this one here is just called French Pearl, which there's three of these that are probably my favorite colors, and this is probably one. This, um, the Wagasagi, and um, this guy right here, the Prime Time, are probably my three favorite colors. For different depends on water conditions, and that that perch one, of course, would be for when I'm at these little stupid lakes. Um, real quick, let's go over some stuff that I got from AliExpress. I'm thinking, I'm going to open these, but I'm, I'm pretty sure these are my Acuras. I'm still waiting on two BFS reels that came out. They're supposed to have been shipped. I don't know if they're lost in the mail or what they are, but let's find out. Um, I'm not sure exactly what these are. Yep, these are Acuras. Uh, they had these on sale for $26. They're, they're at the, um, the last sale they did. You've seen the unboxing for these. It's just 
if I can get them open. It's just the Acura. Ah, everything's trying to fall out. You get the little BFS spool. You get your extra spool. Um, this is one of my favorite little reels. Um, this because they did it right. It's built well. It's braked well. It looks good. This is when they took the um, the knockoff FTB off and they went with the mag tracks because they couldn't get it right for you lefty people out there. Um, I ain't trying to be mean, but that's the reason why they had to change it. That's why a lot of companies went away from the FTB and they were getting heat for copying Shimano. But anyway, they went to mag tracks but this reel is really good. I use this reel in uh, several setups, actually, that fish on my, on my tournament days. Uh, two rods um, in general I use these with um, is my eye rod. Let me, let me grab it real fast and I'll show it to you. Give me one moment. Ah, here she is right here. Um, she is super light. It's an eye rod. This is your Gen 3. And this rod is called um, Le Leggett Finesse Cast. Finesse cast. Um, it is meant for small swim baits. But if you guys wanted to have an awesome BFS rod, um, this rod here is 7 foot 4. Um, it's like a light power. has a really good tip. Um, this is about all you need. You can call Matt over at iRod. Tell him I, tell him I sent you. He'll do you a good deal. But, um, see, this is, this is an Acura. Um, hell, at $26, this reel does awesome. It has really good drag. I use, I put just straight eight pound fluorocarbon on there. I clean the bearings out when I get them because they're usually full of grease. But this thing right here will straight up. You see this little bitty? This is a 3 16th, 5 gram raid. It will straight up launch that little guy. I mean straight up launch it. But there you go. Um, that's one of my... But I have... I think four of the four of those rods. I use that same rod for throwing finesse crankbaits. Um, I also use the um, Phoenix Maximum seven foot three medium light. It's more like a light. It's it's a BFS rod too. Um, some of these rods that Shimano makes and calls BFS are not BFS. Um, they're more of a medium power, more of like a medium. Almost to a medium heavy-ish. Uh, they're not like a one power. Um, that's my personal opinion. You know how personal opinions go. Um, all right, so let's just... That's something else. Um, this is... What is this? What is this? What is this? I got a bunch of my AliExpress stuff in today. Not, not some of the stuff I've been looking for, but I'm going to put that to the side. Um, this, I want to see what this is. I'm pretty sure this is the knockoff Gangrel. And it is. Oh, it looks good. This is by Green, uh, Green Spider. I got to make sure I'm checking the time because I get to my son's concert. It didn't have a red tail in the picture, but it still looks good. Um, let me show it to you here. If you guys know what the Jackal Gangrel is, this is basically the exact same mold. That's what I try to tell somebody. You can find, if you find a swim bait that you really like, and you can't pay 50, 60, 80, 100 dollars on it, you can pretty much, if it's an inject injection molded swim bait or plastic swim bait. You can pretty much guarantee that thing was made in China and they have knocked it off. I am not guaranteeing you that they will all swim the same or that they will even swim at all. Fuck. 
But $3, it's worth giving it a try. This was $3. This was $3. Um, that's a nice sleeve it comes in. That's, and it comes with hook keepers, hook holders, I mean. Um, the hooks appear to be owners. Yeah, that's owners. Let's open her up. I'm impatient. I'll get there on time, I think. And I've heard that music so many times now, it's kind of, I can hear it in my brain. Don't tell my kids that. Don't tell my kids that. Um, all right, so. Come on out of there, you. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I want to see what this was like, because I really like throwing the gangrel, and even the baby gangrel is expensive. But I should have got one out and brought it over here so you could see them side by side. Um, I don't feel like going out to the boat. Man, that looks good. Look at that thing. Where is my scale? Where is my scale? Bad thing is, I ain't even got that much stuff in front of me. I thought I had it sitting right here, though. Ah. When you're feeling scatterbrained, it always gets worse. Let's use the jewel scale. See if I can use the jewel scale. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. That's kind of hanging, dangling. I can. How about we get it off of grams? 2.5 ounces. I was right. It weighs the same as a gangrel. 2.5 ounces. Um, I showed you the dead rise. So the dead rise is basically the same form, except for the hooks on the side. And it swims like this. This one swims like this, or the dead rise swims like this. I'm looking silly as fuck. I realize that now. But you get the point. All right. I'm opening this last thing up from AliExpress. I'm going to have to run up there. Okay. It's kind of crazy how they started doing this. Putting it in a big bag and then putting a bunch of little bags in your big bag. Damn. It's almost like they hold your shit and deliver it at one time. All right. So now I gotta open all these little bags. So now I am gonna be late. So now I started, I can't stop, man. Who the hell, how can you stop? Okay, so here, they put all these individual, they did. These are those little sinking, sinking jerk baits I was telling you about. I've linked these before, I'll link them again. These things catch fish. I'm guessing that's what, it's what's in each one of these things. Yep. That's about dumb. These are uh, these are basically a knockoff of Jackal as well. Jackal makes a sinking minnow, and these are basically the exact same thing as the Jackal, even down to the hooks. The hooks on this thing are they are good. I mean, they are really good. Okay, okay. So we know what these packs are. I'm gonna put these packs to the side for now so I can save some time. I don't know what these packs are. Okay. These are, they have the same body shape as a Kazashi, but they have a bill. See that? See the bill? Really good color. The hooks are kind of small for it. I might change the hooks out on it. That might make it swim weird. Like I said, these things is hard. This stuff's hit and miss, guys. I'm not saying you ready to run out and get it. If you're not like me and you don't want to take chances on stuff like this, don't. I'm not saying you should. I will. I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, I would definitely change these hooks. These hooks are too small. They're sharp as hell, but they're too small. Um, it has a really nice weight transfer. I can feel it moving back and forth. Um, as long as this thing swims right, 
I think it's going to be a winner. I changed the hooks on this, probably changed the split rings. And it's probably going to be a winner. Now, I haven't seen this. I don't know. I know it has a Kazashi body, but I haven't seen nobody else put this little bill on here. So I don't know if it's a knockoff or is it something the Chinese decide to do, and they ran with it. Okay, well, let's see what else we got here. Is this the same thing? I know I got three or four of these. So give me one second. Same thing in pink, pink and silver. Same thing in gold, gold and black back. Just kind of standard kind of color. This feels like something different. Oh, these are more Cheb rig weights I ordered. And these are three grams. Yep, three gram. I think that's what it says here. But just so you can see, these are the lead ones I get off of AliExpress. I even link down below for you. No, but these, these are five grams. It says a five on the side. So these are five grams. These are the little lead ones. These are a, a dollar a pack. Dollar a pack, you got five baits. Five weights, I mean. This is really light. What is this thing? Okay. Another one of those, just different color. Um, all right, I seem to be, is that all these little white bags? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's all of them, I guess. Um, I ordered two packs of the five gram, two packs of the three gram, and two packs of the seven gram. Um, that's mainly what I use. Um, and every once in a while, I'll go down to, um, they do have a 1.5 gram, which when you're using Elastec, it is really hard to keep that 1.5 on the bottom. It is actually good. That 1.5 is really good. Um, I have to show it to you. This finesse minnows um, with that 1.5 gram chab rig. And you, you don't work it like you do a worm. You basically slow reel it and let it tick the top of the rocks on the on the rip rock on rip wrap. Just slow reel it almost like you do a really light football jig. You just let it tick, 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 tick. And then your rod just loads up and you reel your bass in. Pretty simple. Um, but I have to show you that another day. Better get my big ass up to the concert before I get in trouble. Because if I don't have all those things recorded, my wife's going to have my ass. And I don't think she's that hungry, but she'll have it. All right, guys. Till next time, it's been DeMont. Just wanted to show you this stuff real quick because I was kind of excited. Still am pretty excited. I got some other stuff I got to show you. I got my very first order from Excite, which is here. Because I want to see what this was in the Excite mystery packs. I want to know what the mystery is. And curious minds want to know. Um, and I got an order from Hookup Tackle I'm going to go over. But I am really looking forward to these. Really looking forward to these. Because I had to do so much modifications to the mirror lure. I would have to change the hooks, change the split rings. Um, make sure it was swimming right. Which I'm pretty sure I've looked at all the videos on these. Matt, Stefan, and a few others. And these things seem to swim really good. They do they, they do what they're supposed to do. And that's the main thing. Is, it's good. I don't mind paying the money for a bait if I know it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Or I can just pay a dollar and wish and pray. All right, guys. Till next time, tight lines. Y'all stay safe.